Yo guys, with accommodation in general, it can be quite difficult to keep your deposit if you're not willing to take preparatory steps to make sure that your house is in the same state when you leave it as when you got it. So hopefully in this video, I'll be able to give you some tips on how to keep your deposit and make sure that you don't lose your hard earned dosh. Before. Taking a preparatory step or two before you move into your place can be a good way to make sure that you keep your deposit. For example, a good bit of practice to do and something I personally do is that whenever I move into a new place, I take pictures of all the little scuff marks and all the little dents and bruises that the house already has before I've gotten there. As well as this, we all know that not every accommodation is perfect, but you need to let your landlord or letting agency know of any pre-existing issues before you've started fully moving in. It's a good idea to make note of what isn't working and where it's not working so that your landlord or letting agency has a good note of this and maybe even they can fix it. It's always a good idea to make a note of what isn't working and where so your landlord or letting agency has an idea and so your accommodation provider can maybe even help you out or fix the issues should they be too much of a problem. Also, read your contract so you know what you can and can't have in your house. It can save your butt later so you don't get caught with any unnecessary hassle when you're moving into your place. And along a similar line, make sure that you do your inventory check. An inventory check is incredibly important so that your accommodation provider can know what's wrong with the house, what's missing and what it needs. Uh, if you don't fill this in, then your accommodation provider is just gonna assume that the house is completely fine within working order to every standard that you have. However, if stuff is missing, you may be charged for it later. So make sure you know exactly what's in your house as soon as you move in. D-U-R-I-N-G, what's the spell, Josh? During. Whilst you're staying at your accommodation, there are a good few things you can do to make sure that you don't get anything actually deducted off your deposit. For starters, white tack or any kind of tack based substance that you might think to put on your wall, don't do that, leaves marks. Any kind, leaves marks. White tack, marks. Blue tack, marks. Anything, marks. A viable alternative to something like tack could be damage free. Hanging tags, they're useful for the wall. And if you want to put up something like posters, maybe even consider getting a cork board. Another thing that is very useful and probably less fun to hear, to be honest, is to clean your surfaces more than once before you leave. Take it from someone who stained their shower previously with hair dye. Cleaning as you go is the way forward, and it saves an awkward conversation later about why your shower might be blue. As well as this, it makes your place look and smell nicer, you keep the germs at bay, and overall you get a more fabulous feeling from your house like you get from me. Okay, that was a lie, but seriously, clean your bathrooms, they're disgusting. Bro, I've got a list here, and I feel like I shouldn't have to say any of this stuff, but... I'm gonna do it anyway. Do not crash into walls. Do not damage your ceiling. Do not break your fences. And do not kick in your bathtub, doors, cupboards, sinks, anything really, just don't break stuff. It's probably a good rule of thumb to go by. As time goes along though, some things may be unavoidable from scuffs to stains to marks that we just make on a place as we live there. Bear in mind though, not all of these things should be charged of you when it comes down to inspection time. General wear on a house, as long as it's not too egregious, shouldn't be charged from your deposit. Side note, if you're not sure on what you can and can't do to lose your deposit and what constitutes losing it, then check with your landlord or with your letting agency. Remember though, some things you can do for cheaper yourself. I, uh, I wanted to make a pun about leaves, um, but all I could find was this potted plant. So, yeah, leaving. I hope you've got your documents together because it's gonna make your life way easier if you do. So the last thing you need to do is make sure everything's the same when you leave as when you got there. Nothing much else to do here, just cross-reference against the documents you've got just to make sure everything is in working order. Check your pictures, check your notes, make sure that everything is good and you should be set to keep your deposit. Well, that's it. If you like the video, you know exactly what to do. Be sure to subscribe for more videos in the future and I will see you boys later. Surprise, I didn't actually leave. I was in the bathroom the whole time.